so material. We said the pencil is wooden. Pencil is wooden. Um, metal, metal. What is metal? Oh, um, this paintbrush. This is metal. Okay, this is metal. My ring is metal. Metal. Um, metal. Yeah. Plastic. Uh, the mouse is plastic. Right? And what else is plastic? This, ooh, the mechanical pencil is plastic. <laughs> plastic. And mechanical, I said mechanical, this would be the type. Type is mechanical. <laughs> plastic. Ceramic. This is ceramic. So this mug is ceramic. Ceramic. And this plate is ceramic. Ceramic. Good. Do you have any other ideas for material? I have one more. This flower is paper. A paper flower. Paper flower. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I think I have never been to Russia, so I don't know much, but I do think about cold and snow and vodka and bears, yes. And what else do I think about? Russia and vodka and bears, yes. And what else do I think about Russia? Um, like very beautiful buildings with like round shapes, round shaped building. Hats, yes, hats with a big flap that comes down. <laughs> but no, wow, no snow, wow, that's crazy. Uh-huh. How we can name the paper. Okay, okay, great. We can name the paper. So, can you give an example? Like, I can say, um, we said this is a square paper or note paper. So then, paper is a noun, right? So some words can be an adjective or a noun. So this word paper, it can be an adjective or a noun. So if I say the paper is pink, that is a noun. Whoa. The paper is pink. The paper is pink. Now our adjective is pink but here paper is a noun it's a thing it's a thing so I can also say <clears throat> this is a paper flower or I can use this the same kind of sentence the flower is paper now paper is an adjective paper is an adjective good so these examples cut paper smashed paper large paper good yeah so here in these these things hmm paper Paper is a noun, so maybe I should write this in pink. Paper here is a noun. So this is a square paper. Square is the adjective, paper is the noun. This is a green 
square, paper, green, square are adjectives, and paper is a noun. This is a crumpled paper. Crumpled is the adjective. And I can say it is maybe the value of crumpled, crumpled paper. So in these, these ones, paper is the noun. Squared paper or square paper, both are okay. Squared paper and square paper are both okay. Square paper is the shape. This is a square piece of paper. A square piece of paper. Now, if my paper was, was not square, my paper was not square and I cut it, I don't have my scissors, if I cut the paper or I folded the paper, now it is a squared paper. So squared means I made it be square. Square means it just is square. It is square. Yeah. So squared paper, I made the square, I cut it. Now it is a squared paper. Um, but if it's just the shape, it is a square paper. So for example, um, let's see, I have a square, a square Lego piece. I cannot change the shape. So it is just square, no D. It is a square Lego piece. Square. Good, good question. Um, usually if we are making something and we make a square, we say it is squared. Uh, we can say squared off, squared, yeah, good. So, yes, here, paper, the paper is pink, this is a crumpled paper, this is a green paper, this is a square paper, these are nouns, paper is a noun. If I say this is a paper flower, that's an adjective. I say this is a paper herb. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is a paper elephant, right? a paper elephant. Then that is an adjective, paper elephant. Good, good questions. Any other examples you can think of, of a material? There are many. Um, ceramic, mug. I can say a cotton, cotton shirt, right? My shirt is cotton, cotton shirt. Mm, we said wooden, this is a wooden paintbrush. Ooh, some paintbrushes are made with horse hair. You could say a horse hair paintbrush. This is not horsehair, but if it is, a horsehair paintbrush. Glass, excellent. Glass, these are glass lenses, right? Glasses, this is glass. This is glass. Does it have different names? Cat, kitty. Okay, so good. So cat or kitty is okay, cat. But cat, that is a noun. Cat is a noun or kitty, kitten is a noun. Yeah. All right. Purpose. Paper. Oh, paper. Mm, no. 
Oh, I see. Like cat or kitty has different names. Does paper have a different name? No, just paper. <laughs> piece, of, piece, a piece of paper. Um, usually we will say a piece of paper. A piece of paper. Um, we can say this is a a post-it note. So some paper has um, it is sticky, right? I can stick it to something. Stick then we can call it a post-it note <clears throat> a post-it note and that is the name of the kind of paper or I can say like this is notebook paper right notebook paper um, but yeah we just say paper a sheet of paper yep excellent a sheet of paper yeah Oh, wow. So in Russian, there are many types of papers. So very good. That is very interesting. So in some languages, we have many words for the same thing. So in English, when we talk about paper, we use adjectives to change the kind of paper. So that is why in English, adjectives are so important. Because I can say, again, so we gave the example of a pencil. Now, if you close your eyes, you think about a pencil, all of us will think about something different, right? Maybe I will think about a yellow pencil. You will think about a black pencil. Think about a black pencil. He will think about a mechanical pencil. So same with paper. <clears throat> we just say paper. I think about a big white paper. You think about a small green paper. He thinks about a notebook paper. So this is why in English we use these adjectives. So <clears throat> big paper, green paper, white paper, um, Okay, yeah, um, computer paper, right? This is, here is computer. Here we go. <laughs> computer paper. Computer paper. So, yeah, very interesting. So, Vladimir says, in English, we use the additional words for the main word for the expression and Russian tries to say it all in one word. Very interesting. So yeah, different languages do that differently. And in English, yeah, we use these adjectives. That's why they are so important. Very interesting. All right. Paper. Yeah. All right. We have one more and then let's do some examples. So this one is the purpose. What is it for? <clears throat> so this is a basket. It is a shopping basket. What is it for? It's for shopping. So it is a shopping basket. Um, this is, a, we can say, a knife. I have a knife for the kitchen computer. I said this is paper. This is computer paper. We use it for the computer. Um, school. You can say this is my bag. This is my school bag. Excellent. So Emerson says a drawing pencil. Very good. This is a school pencil. This is a drawing pencil. This is, oh, and writing pencil. Very good. So, great, many pencils. Let's say this is a school pencil. This is a drawing pencil. This is a writing pencil. Excellent example. 
and I can say cleaning like this is a cleaning brush or cleaning rag cleaning um, drawing good cooking this is a cooking spoon browing pencil okay do you mean like like an eyebrow pencil yeah maybe that's what we mean okay an eyebrow pencil yes eyebrow pencil yep mm-hmm eyebrow so we won't say browing but eyebrow an eyebrow pencil yeah good one or an eye pencil eye pencil or a lip pencil um yeah good good one lip pencil eyebrow pencil uh, a baking uh, a baking dish let's show some examples so this would be like eyeliner eye pencil yeah I, I think <clears throat> eyeliner there are many kinds of <laughs> eyeliner it can be uh, liquid eyeliner there's our adjective liquid 